Alabama's medical marijuana industry hitting yet another roadblock. The process of issuing business licenses overseen by the state's embattled Medical Cannabis Commission has been put on pause amid yet another lawsuit. The companies that filed the suit accused the commission of awarding, of awarding businesses uh, business licenses illegally during secretive closed door meetings. Political reporter Aaron Davis is following this case. And Aaron, what does this mean for companies who were previously given a business license? And also, what does it mean for the patients waiting for these treatments? Well, Val, companies will have to wait longer to get their license, meaning patients will have to wait even longer to get medical cannabis. The order will stop the commission from issuing business license to companies who were awarded one, and it'll give plaintiffs a longer time to build their case before the next hearing. Now, all of these companies involved in the lawsuit were not awarded business license. A Montgomery County judge stopped the medical cannabis process again. The first pause happened after an error in grading business applications. This time, the company Alabama Always and others who weren't awarded a medical cannabis license claimed the commission violated the Open Meetings Act. For as far along as we are, it's a complete victory so far. Now we have a lot more to do. During the latest meeting, the commission did meet behind closed doors for four hours during an executive session where each member nominated their preferred companies. The state's lawyer told the judge it would have been impractical to do otherwise. We had a number of pass-fail issues, background checks, and issues that were all part of this decision to begin with. And those are the kind of things you, you know, you, you hate to just lay it out there, but they keep insisting, so they may get to whoosh. The companies claim there would be a better chance to earn a license if the selection process were in public. We're not guaranteed one, but we think in a fair process we've got a really good shot, and that's all we want. All parties are concerned about the impact that this process will have on potential patients. We hate any, any delays because there are patients suffering every day that need this product. The, the delay has been caused by their refusal to follow the law on every turn. They keep on doing things they shouldn't do. and. They keep on being stopped from it. Director McMillan adds that he can no longer say when medical marijuana will be available. He's just hopeful that it will be eventually. Val? All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. There will be another hearing on August 28th. The commission will reconvene on August 31st.